Mass Curse. All enemy units on the battlefield have minus 300 happiness and 2 defense, 2 resistance. Uh, thankfully, we have some bard skills going, so we should be fine when it comes to happiness. Yeah, we'll be fine. Despite the fact that this thing looks menacing as all hell. Look at this thing. Destruction node. Right, so we should probably wait for them to arrive. Yeah. This guy can attack my apprentices. Yeah. Oh, we can phase. Well, that's nice. I might use that next turn, actually. I will just hide behind these rocks for now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they will arrive next turn, so uh, we will immediately bombard them with everything we have. Hell, even this guy has phase. Wow, all of my troops can phase right now. And we can use this to outflank them if we want. Yeah, we should probably go for some outflanking maneuvers there. So they all have blight protection, except you. Nope, so they managed to weaken my troops. Okay. So what does weakening do anyway? Crap, what the hell is that? They can throw spears, apparently. Okay, I did not see that. Cannot be used while the unit is engaged. And they can use it any time during battle. Okay, I did not see that. Anyways, we should start bombarding them with fire. Brilliant. We're supposed to be flanking them, but it's not working. supposed to be flanking them, but for some reason, it's not working. Alright, so this is the flanking attack. There we go. Much better. Alright. Took some minimal damage there. So now most of our sites are uh, fully explored, except for these, uh, you know... I'm pretty sure the, this is a pirate bay that is producing uh, all these navy units there, yeah. Which means we're gonna have to rely more on navy and uh, elemental units from now on. And yeah, we can clear these guys as well. Alright, fine. Here, this is gonna be your next mission. You will go after these. Floating, yes, by all means. I would have preferred having phase or something, but you know what? Floating is good. I'm gonna keep the two extra points for later. Yeah. Now, so now, now that she's floating, she can actually join the uh, the navy if she wants. Yeah, this hero, she can she can become a leader of the navy, which is pretty cool. Oh, we have a full army of thugs here. Uh, we're actually gonna assault you guys. 
right away. You're completely surrounded. If they attack any side whatsoever, we can just outflank them from the other side, yeah. Ouch, crap. Okay, so if they all go after my, one of my troops, this will be troublesome. Well, that's unfair. We get to we attack them first and they start they get huge damage against my troops right from the beginning. That's not fair at all at all, I think. Okay. Yeah, it, it's nice that they decide to split their troops. It's going to make my job a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, but this one is lucky. Yeah, see there? So who do we want to go after first? This one is a High Elf Initiate. Uh, we could just attack them right away, I suppose. Uh, yeah. yeah, this should work. Critical hit, nice. Man, those in those uh, apprentices, they're, they're brutal. Look at this, the fairy fire thing. I'm, I'm gonna have to use more of them. Brilliant. Oh, they managed to survive. Crap, they're gonna kill one of my units next. That sucks. Although, if we cast a spell... Oh, we can't. We already cast a spell this turn. Who else did not attack? If any other one... Any other... One of my heroes... Yeah, so this is the thing. I actually acted a bit too hasty. I should have... I should have conserved my uh, phase until the last minute so we can attack these guys. Now they're going to be able to flank both of my units there, which is not good. Anyways. Why are they moving so slowly? Oh, we can still cast a spell. Good, good, good. Thank God. There we go. Because that's the thing about scoundrels. You want you want to uh, kill, kill them as early as you can. Wow, okay. So apparently the phasing ability will also make them resistant to... Uh, yeah, projectile resistance. Good, good. nice to have alright and we gained a level as well do you want to hire anyone else? I don't think so we can ignore the firstborn dwarf for whatever. He's not really good for our, uh, you know, for our strategy. He's a melee unit. Are we mostly relying on, you know, beast summoned units and rangers? 
Although it does have uh, Dragon Snare, Giant Snare. I don't think we need those. Yeah. Just gonna ignore him. Alright. So this is a weak defender. You just uh, keep growing yourself there, yeah. And you too. And well, we could build an arena, I suppose. Yeah, no harm. So at this point we'll be we should start worrying about all these uh, you know warships going around and killing my scouts because that's the point where they begin to appear looks like you know what I'm getting tired of this guy let's just kill him and get rid of him yeah oh sure let them run I was worried about nothing. So we have a strong ruin there. We could actually clear it if we want to. We could go after both ruins at the same time if we want to. Maybe we have a couple of goblin riders and such. I'm not too worried about Julia at the moment. She's. Yeah, she declined my proposal. You're a fool to even suggest this. Yeah, well, why did she declare war on me again? Still haven't figured that out. Nevertheless, she's gonna regret it. Are right, we gonna enter the ruins next turn, I think? You too. Confirm movement, keep moving forward. Alright, we have another hero. Great. 250 gold. Alright, we need to conserve our gold. We need to make sure that we're not building any more stuff. Yeah. Now we are building a frigate warship. Recruit you next turn, I believe. Human arch druid. Eh, it's not bad. Camille has declared war on me. What the hell? Yeah. So the thing is, if you change your alignment radically, you declared war. I swear to God, I did not declare war. So apparently, if you change your alignment, or if you get your you know pure good alignment or whatever it is, everyone is gonna be like offended. And we'll declare war on you immediately. So, so that kind of sucks. Anyways, I think it's a good time to uh, start exploring ruins. What do we have? We have some goblin berserkers and, you know, a bunch of berserkers. And they all have, like, crazy amounts of health points. Uh, oh, well. Let's just go after them. It's gonna be a bit tough to navigate this, these areas. Thankfully, they will probably block each other's access. You know, they can't. They're gonna have to go all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, this location kind of sucks. Actually, it's, it's there are so many walls. Uh, not very good if you're playing for you know with range units. We're probably gonna have to lose one of these. I think, yeah, we should, we're probably going to have to end up... going to end up losing one of those units, fortunately. What we can do... is go after this guy in the center, the Goblin Berserker, yeah. If we go after him, should be fine.
Oh, yes, uh, let's go the uh, warp equipment. Yes, please. We're gonna have to use these twice. This will reduce their damage and the everything. Yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna make them much weaker overall. So we still have another chance. Ooh, we almost had them. We almost had them. Oh wait, we oh we should have probably used phase or something. Ah, forget it. We're gonna use phase next turn. They will attack. They will. You know, rush through this area. I'm probably gonna lose like two of my units or something, but it doesn't matter. Twenty-six damage, crap. So first, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move away from this guy. Yeah. I think it's a good time to phase at this point. Yeah, we're just gonna phase one step back. And then we can nail them from a range. Yeah, let's do that. And they actually gained a level from that. Here's another plan. We go here. Yeah. Perfect. Oh crap. The undead are spawning now. Yeah, even though I warp their equipment, they're still very brutal, and I'm now I have to deal with these Archon Revenants. That is so much bullshit. I can't believe I'm actually gonna lose this battle. Holy crap. Yep, we're probably gonna <laughs> lose this. I can't believe it. Oh, damn it, those Archons. Oh, we are so screwed. Yep, we just lost an entire army. Are you kidding me? These guys are not affected by blight whatsoever? Crap, alright. So yeah, we just lost this battle because of the great an animate... Undead animation bullshit. Uh... Yeah, for God's sake, I, you know, try to get lucky. Okay, thank God. Yeah, you notice that uh, despite us being really happy, 
We did not get lucky at all in this battle. This luck mechanic, it's it's kind of broken, I feel like. It's just, or maybe I over overestimated its potential. Damn those Archons! Oh my god. Alright, so we lost the Jester and the Initiate. Actually, those are not very important units. We can easily replace them. We're gonna build another Jester. And, uh... What do we got? An Oaken Buckler. Well, that's good for defense. Against non-flanking attacks. Good. Now we're gonna have to get you some replacement units. Before Julia attacks or something. Which means... We could just save some gold, or... We desperately, desperately need a jester. Alright, summon fantastic creature. Another cool creature there. Uh, we, I think this will allow us to summon, uh, you know, all these weird creatures out there, such as the... Uh, I think, you know, the Obsidian Wyvern and all these. You know, we lost a Storm Sister. We might as well use this Archer as a replacement. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, the Archer is kind of useful. I assume Julia is going to be attacking from this direction, so we should probably start gathering our armies or something. Yeah. Harmonizing Energy sends that away. Okay, so this is the second healing spell we have access to. Uh, 30 health to target friendly unit. Okay, so compared to our uh, Holy Cure, this one costs 10 mana to heal 25 uh, health. This one costs 20 and heals 30 health. Hmm. I feel like the Holy Cure is actually more useful, so we're gonna ignore this one for now. Uh, let's go for Domain of Life or some fantastic creature. Okay, there's a lot of cool choices here. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking let's go for Terraformer. We, we want to keep this uh, Draconian city happy, so we might want to transform this place into, uh, you know, barons and lava pools and all this. Yeah, we're going to transform this entire region into bu a bunch of barons. Try and keep them happy. Alright, we're going to ignore you for now. Yes, uh, just all of you. Just uh, produce a bunch of gold. Ah! The army of Camille. Yeah, she, it's actually quite a strong army there. Okay, so it's uh, only a bunch of crows. But uh, she has jesters. Actually, that's not very strong. I, could, I should be able to take them out. Especially if I have a navy. If I get myself a navy, this will be a very easy war, I think. It's going to be very easy against, you know, uh, Julia. If, if Julia attempts to cross the ocean to get towards me... She doesn't have any coastal cities, actually. Oh, well. It's fine. We're going to be fine. Alright, so we're going to use these two armies in order to intimidate all of these guardians. Yeah, I think if we combine these two armies, we can easily let them run and we'll be fine. We don't even have to fight them, you know. Another hostile town. What the hell? Yeah, 
I should probably stay away from them because this guy will actually attack me if I get too close to him. You know what? I don't really need the scouts at this point. I should... Yeah, I'm not too worried about the scouts. We can easily just... Uh, we don't need them too much. Oh yes, we still have another ruin to search. Alright, these guys are much easier. Uh, you know, dried spider baby, standard stuff. Man, will come. But now that we have griffins, this battle is going to be even easier. I think. You know, we can fly over them, outflank them. It's going to be awesome. Unless, of course, their spider manages to web us somehow. That would be bad. Alright, first things first, I think we should uh, panic them. Alright, so now it's dazzled, panicked. Great. Yes, that means it will not be able to counterattack. Of course, he's going after the. He's going after the small beasts. Strong leg gear, uh, blight protection. Or are we gonna actually gonna take this? Because coincidentally, this hero already has blight weakness. So now we have a slight blight advantage. Actually, yeah, we have forty percent blight protection. Uh, what else? For traversing death, vegetation vegetation is reduced by two plus one defense. All right, it's fine. Although we already have the forestry thing. We should probably give this to one of our other heroes that does not have the dense vegetation. Maybe one of these guys. Yeah, he doesn't have dense vegetation, uh, whatever. So yeah, we're gonna give it to him. The Forester upgrade. Where's the hero? Send it to... yeah, this guy. It's gonna take three turns, but it should be fine. Now we can actually upgrade her. Uh, what do we give you? Twisting Roots. She can swim, Spirit of the Land, Revive Instinct, Hornet Swarm. Wow, Hornet Swarm is actually pretty badass. Uh, 20 Blight damage. It will jump a maximum four times to other enemy units, three or less hexes away. Um, machine and undead units are immune, and of course, any units that have resistance to blight. Uh, well, but I'm still gonna grab it though, because uh, it will be very useful against Julia, considering that we're gonna be fighting against uh, you know an, an army of elves and such. So yeah, that that ability will be really handy. Now, because we have lost a unit just now, I think it's about it's a good time to. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get the dwarf firstborn after all. 
I'm just gonna wait here for now. Yeah. Yeah, you just wait. So now we can afford the hero. Yes, please. You're welcome. And we're going to start sending all of our heroes, all of our units, across. Seriously, what is it with these Blight Elementals? I don't want these bastards. I'm pretty sure the spell says some lesser... Yeah, a lesser elemental is summoned to the target location. Usually it's supposed to be, like, random. But for some reason, I keep getting these damn ele Blight ones. Oh, yeah, there's a small army there. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna attack you right away. Or... What we can do... Is try to swarm them. I would have gone for auto combat, but why would I? Believe it or not, I prefer to go for auto combat in uh, very large battles as opposed to very small ones. Because, you know, in the very large battles, I feel like the AI is more capable of handling them than I am. Oh yeah, she can float, she can walk across walls and all that. So that's nice. I should probably attack them directly. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> Much better. Oh, we can't attack them? Seriously? Go back to this camp. Okay. I think I would like to save some money there. Or we could just uh, start clearing up these camps, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, so the mana for the forge is actually the most important one because it'll give us some production. It makes this it'll make the city a little bit more powerful, yeah. Oh, so they decided not to escape. You know what? What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, we didn't lose a single unit. Good. So here we have two frost elementals. So 
So what do we have here? Great healing showers. Yeah, summon units are going to be healed this time. More magical units. I think this one is a magical origin thing. Okay, this one is an animal. Good. So this one will not be healed. These guys, however. Magical origin. Yeah, so they're going to be healed. Halfling Nightwatch, uh, Nightwatch, I'm not really too worried about losing him, so, you know. Screw it, let him be lost. Oh yes, they have immunity to frost damage. That's what's happening. They took more fire damage than usual, that's what happened. Which means now we can flank them with the Night Watch. There we go. Good. What we can do is we can phase and we can try to flank them. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, there's a maximum range to this, apparently. Come on, die already. Alright. Oh, we cannot teleport yet. Yeah, we can teleport. Here's the thing, it requires three action points. Yeah. Yep, they got healed. Nice. I want to make sure that my heroes actually do the attacks. Forty-two damage. This guy is brutal. All right, so we cleared a bunch of enemies there. Look at that thing. An Archon Titan. Titan. Okay, so if he attacks me, thankfully we had all these guys together. Yeah, aren't you glad that I sent them all together?